Well, today we're going to clean brass door handles. I hate this job. I hate it with a passion. But when the wife says, would you mind cleaning the door handles, darling? You know you've got to do it. The handles are quite ornate. Georgian. They're quite dull. But with a bit of work, I can make them look really good. All you need is a bit of rag. As you can see, this has been used for cleaning my motorbike for quite some time now. And each strip will last absolutely ages. It is three foot long. That's a metre to me and you, who were bought up on pound shillings and pence and things like that. You want my favourite, all time favourite, metal polish. Sol Valorta Sol. Brilliant. Brilliant. I don't like the uh, the wet ones, the brass rows and the silvos, because they go everywhere. Everywhere. But use this on your handles and you can very quickly get them to gleam. So what I do is I smear a bit on there and a bit on there. Now this is going to be difficult because I can't hold the phone and do the job. But I think you'll all get the idea. You wrap a bit of cloth round. Yeah, can you see it? And then you pull backwards and forwards rapidly for a few I minutes. I did literally 20 odd seconds. And in that 20 seconds, you can see this same handle has come up quite well. If I could get some sun on it, you'd see it's glinting lovely. Now the bits I haven't done, here and round here and here and round here, you can see are still dirty so you get a damn good look of a comparison between the two looks now I know you're all going to go yeah everybody knows that but do they? do they really? I mean I'm not being funny as a biker from many many years ago that was what we did our four legs our bits of chrome everything you strapped seven bells out of them until they came up clean and it takes you as you can see on that door handle, probably about three, four minutes to do each handle. And they're quite intricate. And it's just one of those little tips that we all need to learn, to know, to learn and use more often. Right, I've got about one, two, three, four, five, about eight, ten handles to do. So I don't think my strength will last as long. My stamina certainly won't. But let's have a go and see if we can turn all these handles into beautiful shiny handles and make my wife very happy. Only problem I've got is I've done the letterbox and the letterbox you can't strap. You have to do it the old way. Big cloth. Go at it like mad. That took me a quarter of an hour, 20 minutes, something like that. It was horrendous and I'm never happy with it. But doing this way with strapping, brilliant. I've been thinking... While I've been cleaning my handles, toothbrush. Brilliant for getting into those little tiny awkward parts like these roses here. You can literally rub away at them and get in those little nooks and crannies. But just remember, it's your old toothbrush. Not that fancy new electric one. You know what happens when you use the electric one? Zzz, it takes the teeth, gives them a good clean. Wife comes home and goes, Oh yeah, what's been on this? And you know you're in deep. Well, yes. Toothbrush. Another good I've been tip. going an hour and a half. I've done two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine door handles. 
and I've cleaned all the door frames to get because they look that bright. The actual wood, I could see the marks where you, you touch with your hand as you're walking through, and it's like grease. So I've cleaned all that off and I've gone all around the house. Now then, I'm really pleased with what's happened and how it's worked. However, there's a few caveats I need to mention to you. I was an architectural ironmonger, handles, locks, door closers, for many years. Design work, selling, mending, breaking, repairing, all that sort of stuff. So I know handles inside out. So this is something, a caveat, that you need to bear in mind. My handles are solid brass. There you go. Solid brass. When this handle came to me, when I bought it, oh, 1988, something like that, so they're 30 years old now, they came with an air drying lacquer on them. And that lacquer was just to protect them in the box, in transit to the place, and then to your cells when you've bought it. I've stripped that off with paint stripper, nitrum or something similar like that, many years ago. And that's why I buffed them up and they look better. You can now, if you want when you've cleaned them like this, you can air lacquer them yourself with an aerosol can. However, six months down the line, the sweat off your hands, some of the handles, the ones you touch the most, will start to degrade and you've got to strip it all off again and it's all right pain the posterior. So what I'm saying to you now is, think carefully, just polish them quickly every few months. Now I've spent an hour and a half, because I haven't done this since last summer, this is, what, over a year now. I'm not sure if the wife has, but you need to think about that. The next caveat, I will show you some other handles. These are also solid brass. However, this is a more modern handle. That is an applied finish. It is an applied finish. Can you see the, the marks on the... Let's try and get one in a better light. There you go. Let's have a little look. Right, if you look at this handle from above, the scratches there, that is where rings and sweat have got on there and pulled the lacquer off. If I was to polish those now, I would very quickly start to rub right through that protective finish and that decorative lacquer. If you have handles like that, do not, under any circumstances, start polishing them. Wipe them down with damp cloth, leave it at that. One day, I'll either replace the handles, most likely, or I could, if I wanted to, cover those in nitromores, strip them all down, polish them back to polished brass, and have the same handles, but not with the pretty decorative finish. So, the big caveat there is, look for a lacquered finish. You can tell it. It's got a bit of a shine in a different way. It feels, to my touch, a little bit plasticky. Um, not like rubbing a piece of metal. I can't explain it. Try it, you might understand it yourself. But that's the big caveats. <clears throat> the other little tiny things to look out for is when you're cleaning um, around the handles, remember to wipe the moisture off, especially if you're using something like a silic bang or something like that because that is corrosive. People tell you it isn't, I'm sure they all believe it, but the truth is, you leave it long enough, any moisture, it will get in there and it will corrode and ruin your handles. Happy polishing. This and more tips will be found on carefulnottight.co.uk. Have a brilliant day. Oh, you'd be surprised at the